What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Black Up here on the Apple Guy. Today we are doing an unboxing of my first camera gimbal ever. That is going to be the Zhiyun Crane M2. Now I was looking at other brands and other styles of gimbals and I was actually thinking of first buying the DJI Ronin SC. But since I have a mirrorless camera and not a full frame camera, the DJI was actually a little bit too big for my camera and I was actually looking at other versions of the Zion. There was the Weeble S, but again, most of these camera gimbals are really more designed for full frame and larger cameras. So I needed something that would give me kind of the same option, but was more designed for the mirrorless cameras. And that's where I came up and bought the uh, Crane M2. Now I know that there is a newer version of it, the Crane M3, but I didn't really hear about that until after I bought this. And since I've never owned this uh, this brand before, didn't want to buy something brand new and not like it and then make a video acting like I liked it. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna kind of just unbox this and just kind of get like a first impression of it because I've never uh, really owned anything from Zion. This is actually my first camera gimbal from them. So we're gonna get into the unboxing of this now. So here it is, my Zoom Crane M2. So, so first off, um, oh. Looks like you get a nice, wonderful cloth. I'm assuming that's for wiping off the dirt off your camera. Can't imagine why you would need this for the gimbal itself. Um, it seems like there's like a box. Oh, so looks like you actually get a pretty dope little case and looks like there's nothing else in here. So um, looks like you get a little package. It's probably gonna have some information on that. So we'll just pop that open really quick. So obviously it's like a service card um some information on the back of that and this looks like a quick start guide so it kind of shows you how to get this thing up and running so we will do that in a later video so stay tuned for that so we're just going to kind of dive into this so first off let's look at the case it's kind of cool that it does come with its own little case it's nice to know that manufacturers when they ship these they're not they're just giving you just the camera gimbal itself and then having to figure out where to place it like in your backpack or kind of carrying it around and then or just tossing it in a camera backpack and then it gets all knocked all over the place so it's kind of nice that they give you that it's pretty small um so first off the bat uh wow this is pretty small i was actually thought it would have been just a tad bit bigger but so this is the gimbal itself so i can see why a lot of people will love using these for the Sony a6400s of the 6000 lineup and even the point and shoots because it's pretty small. Uh, just off first hand, doesn't really weigh that much. I mean, it's pretty light. I mean, uh, considering that uh, your cameras or your, your mirrorless cameras, most of them aren't super heavy, especially point and shoots aren't really heavy. Consider that combined with this, that's actually not too bad. It's actually pretty light. So um, let's see what else we get. So. This looks like this is going to be the shield or what you would place the camera on itself. So there's that. Uh, looks like you get like a little phone, a phone holder. So let's pull that out, see what that looks like. So this is your little phone holder. So you might be able to put that with a case on it. It really depends, but does it look like if you have a case that that's gonna fit on this along with the phone. So let's like you might have to take the phone out of the case if you ever wanted to vlog with just the phone only and not with um, just the camera so uh, aside from that it looks like it would thread onto this somehow and that's how that would work but yeah it doesn't look like you can be able to fit this with a case in it so if you have like a iphone 12 or pro max or something like that you might have to take it out of the case in order to use that so there's that um, this is the knob thing so this i'm assuming this tacks onto the bottom of your camera and then whichever camera size you're using if you have a larger camera a mirrorless one that would go there gopro here and that's how that would work for that so that's kind of cool and then you get a little wrist strap which uh, i don't know i'm not really sure why you kind of wrap this around your wrist and carry it but you do get that and then it seems like you also get the USB-C. so i'm assuming this charges via USB-C, so you simply just plug that into your gimbal, and then you plug it into available USB, and then that's how that works. And then this looks like a sort of tripod that I would imagine you probably 
can just now so there's a thread on the bottom there so you simply just take this and then you would just thread it and then you would just literally just set this down on the ground and that's pretty much how that would work and it just kind of sits up like that uh, so we're just going to get another view of this later on but that's just actually kind of cool even with the uh tripod or with the tripod mount on this it's still pretty light um, i love the fact that it has a locking a locking thing so you can actually lock the motors in place so that when you put this in a bag or something they're not just flying all over the place that's actually kind of cool so there's that so we're just going to uh doesn't look like there's anything else so we'll just talk about the gimbal itself so it looks like that's the power button that's your menu um first field the joystick feels pretty nimble easy to use um, shouldn't have any issues with this whatsoever. That's going to be a USB-C for plugging it in and charging. I'm assuming that's going to be for adding other accessories to this. Um, if you choose to, I don't know what you can actually add to this since this is my first camera gimbal. So I'll take a look at that later on and then have a further review on that. This is your wide and uh, tight close. So basically this allows you to pair your phone with this Bluetooth wise and you can control the zoom in and zoom out depending on your camera, if it has a zoom kit on it or zoom kit lens on it. Fortunately, I do have this. I have the 16 to 50 millimeter on this, so I will be trying that uh, in combination with the A6400 once I um, kind of figure out how to use this. And then you have what looks like your power or locking. So another part of the locking thing, so I'm assuming if you unlock that, that allows you to kind of move this and kind of set this up with your camera. And that's just a trigger. So I'm assuming that's how you would use to uh, do your forward facing. If you want to do forward facing vlog with this, um, you have a few more settings there on how to kind of adjust your camera and your motor. So that's pretty much all that I got for this right now. This is just an unboxing and first impression. I'll definitely be looking forward to kind of trying this out eventually. Uh, it probably doesn't have any batteries, so I'll probably have to charge it up. I just got this no more than 20 minutes ago, and I'm pretty excited to actually get this thing to try and try it out and I don't know if I'll be trying out outside as it's I live in Alaska and it's like negative three to negative ten degrees there, so it does get pretty cold outside for me to want to try this but I will try and get a few shots with this later on so this is just my first impression on this so stay tuned for my full review on this later on and that is everything that I got so I want to thank everybody for watching this video and if you're new to my channel don't forget to smash that subscribe button hit that bell notification that way you don't miss content when I drop it and if this video was helpful if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and again my name is Black Apino the Apple Guy and I will see you guys in the next video.